I have three words for you. Barbecue chicken pizza. Sorry, four. Spicy barbecue chicken pizza. Six. Damn delicious spicy barbecue chicken pizza. Seven. Damn delicious spicy barbecue chicken pizza. Bitches! <laughs> It's going down big today, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna grill some chicken. Thighs, because last time we used uh, breasts for Max. By the way, if you've not made that barbecue chicken sandwich, burger, oh my God, it's so good. So we'll grill some chicken, and then that will become what goes on the pizza, but we're gonna make our own barbecue sauce. It's gonna be spicy, great, deliciously hot. And then you got pizza, you got barbecue sauce, you got chicken, oh, bacon will be involved, some cheese. What more do you need? We'll start by getting the chicken on, and make it our sauce. See this? It's chicken thighs. They've been uh, lightly oiled, salt and peppered, and on they go. There's no magic to this. And they don't even need to be pretty because we're gonna shred them up. The other thing we need is some bacon, but just partially cooked because it's gonna finish on the pizza in the oven. So there's no better way to do this when you already got a hot grill. And I don't need probably even quite that much, but it's bacon and it's on a grill and we're hungry boys. So I'll just do it. Who cares, right? And these first pieces, these are pretty close to where you want them. I really need longer tongs. Ah. Why do you not just have a long set I, of I, I can't find them, I don't know where they are. And I'm burning the F out of myself. It's really for entertainment purposes. I want the people at home to understand my pain. My pain is real. Okay, another minute on the bacon, then it comes off. If we have a little peek at our chicken, Let's see, we're getting there. Nothing amazing yet. Let's get some color. Yeah, color's flavor, right? We all know that. All right, let's get rid of the bacon because it's now starting to flame like this. Ow! That flame got me. There you go, perfect. Let this cool, then I'll cut it up a bit. All right, let's close the lid, let this cook, and in the meantime, we'll start our barbecue sauce. Okay, little pot on the heat, splotch of oil, and then it gets some yellow onion. Lovely. Diced up beautifully, and some diced poblano pepper. We give this two, three minutes to soften. That's a pretty start, ain't it? Ain't it? Did you say anus? I see. While this is softening, I think we could flip our chicken. All right, let's, uh, great. Let's go over here where the bacon was. Why not maybe, if you pick up a little extra flavor, it's not a bad thing. Great. Finish cooking that to about 160. Don't forget, it's going back in an oven. Damn, it's hot. And we can crack on with the sauce and know when that's ready, I'll pull it off. Next in, another little tiny splash of oil and some garlic. Spread it out. Usual drill when it starts to get super fragrant in about 30 seconds. It's time. Mix it in. We don't want to burn it. And then we start adding the rest. The first thing of the rest is about a cup and a half, two cups of your favorite barbecue sauce. Look, I go for as plain as I can get. I'm letting the flavors come from all this other stuff. But now we can add the heat. And the heat comes in the form of cayenne pepper. And it's gonna look like a lot, cause, oh, it is a lot and this is spicy. We need some smoked paprika. We need a little chipotle chili powder. Look at the colors of the peppers in there, huh? We need some pepper flakes. We can mix this. Oh my God. This is like Korean hot barbecue sauce. We give it a, just a couple drops of liquid smoke. My friend Greg is peeing himself right now thinking I've done that. And I don't care at all. We need some honey to balance all the heat. About a quarter cup, four tablespoons. Look at it breathing like the devil. Oh, that's gorgeous and thick and rich. Okay, I'm gonna let this do what it wants to do. Is bubble, I'll turn it down a bit and let it bubble for about 10 minutes. Look, if you wanted to add a shot of bourbon to this, go ahead, it'd be great. A little mezcal would be great. But my chicken is ready to come off, and off we come. Perfect. All right, this just needs to cool now so we can deal with it. One addition to the sauce, a couple tablespoons of brown sugar. We mix, this will continue for five minutes or so. Boys, come to the front. We have chicken to deal with, bacon, pizza dough. Gotta get this thing in the oven. Okay, first up is our bacon. It's now perfect, and I'm just gonna rip it. Make it very, uh, what's it called? Rustic, right? We like rustic. Rustic is good. Rustic hides a lot of mistakes. Anything that doesn't come up perfect, you call rustic. This is just like the beautiful, perfect, still fatty enough level that it will finish in the oven. If you make crisp bacon and then it goes in a hot oven for your pizza, you've got wrecked bacon. So don't wreck your bacon. Do this. I'm anal and I must continue. Okay, chicken next. And that looks like this. So this might be a cutting proposition, but let's find out. Yeah, look what you can do. And by the way, you don't want to cook your own chicken? Don't cook your own chicken. You buy a deli roasted chicken from the supermarket and 
bring it home and while it's still warm, this is when you want to do it. Because if you put it in the fridge and you do it the next day, then you're cutting it and it's not going to be what you want. Well, unless you want it cut. But if you want rustic like I got, do this. Let's grab our dough and we can almost begin. All right, it's shredded up. Now here's what we do. We take the amount that we think we're going to need like this. I'm not making the world's biggest pizza. And then some of our sauce. Look how beautiful it got. So, spiciest barbecue sauce ever. It's how spicy is it, lads? It's insanely spicy. Very spicy. But what's the point? The point is, it's not gonna be eaten by itself. So you had, a, we all had teaspoons of it without anything, not even with chicken. So by the time you add the chicken and then cheese and then bacon and then crust, it's a whole different world. I actually think you should put that on the pizza. You want a little layer? Okay, here's our dough. You've seen me make this before. You do it in a processor. All the ingredients go in, you give it a whiz, you add lukewarm water, it comes to a dough, put it in a bowl, and you let it rise in a warm place. You get this. You didn't need to sit through all that because we've done it. So now we have to take it out. And we're gonna give ourselves just a little flour. There's a sweet little landing spot for our dough ball. And out we come. There we go, beautiful. So this is now ready and we could make a big pizza with this, but we don't want this one thick. We want this one thin, so let's cut this guy in half or what looks like half. Take this side away. And this now is gonna be our dough ball that we're gonna deal with. We pinch down the bottom, a little bit more flour here. And this guy is the guy that we're gonna roll out. And I wasn't necessarily foreshadowing anything, but do you remember when I was talking about rustic? What I was saying to you is that if it's not a perfect shape, we call it rustic and it's cool. Getting a round pizza, a perfectly round pizza, is not necessarily something that everybody's good at. And when I say everybody, I mean me. Why not a rolling pin? Well, sometimes I might get to a rolling pin, but I kind of like the hand tossed only because it's what they use in pizza places, their hands, they don't use the rolling pin. You can start slowly start to use your knuckles underneath to stretch it. So just take your time. So I've got it where I want it. It's, you know, it's a little, it looks a little like South Africa, but it's fine. So here's what we're gonna do. This is our pizza peel. That's what it's called. It goes in the oven. You can see there's this thin edge to get underneath it. But to make this work and come off easily, I'm gonna put a little cornmeal on here. And this will act as like little baby ball bearings. So pick this up and on it goes. And now you see that is going to be our friend when we go to put it in the oven. Okay, let's heat up the oven while we build the pizza. So contact. Isn't that impressive? And that guy's going to get up to close to 900, nine, this many fingers chance. This, this many fingers, 900 degrees, maybe more. We've got our little gun here to tell us. Okay, so let's stand, stand still. Chancy right now is 90, 93.92.7. Why so low? I don't know. Here, what, what am I? should I be? You're 88. Am I on my forehead? Yeah. 88. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, but here, look, it's been on just for a little bit. We had, we're warming it up earlier. In the middle of the deck, we're already at uh, 400, basically, 387. Okay. All right, finish the pizza. Okay, first thing down is a little bit of sauce. And look, it's super hot. When I say it's super hot, I'm not kidding. It is really damn hot. So you want to go gentle. Yes, there's brown sugar in this. Yes, there's some honey. But I'm telling you, you can just see the flakes. Gosh. Okay, beautiful. Now our cheese. Where are you going with some Monterey Jack? I would go with uh, smoked Gouda, but it totally... I totally effed up. I don't know what happened. I just completely blanked in the storm. I'm telling you, I got, I got COVID fog going on. Okay, now our chicken. Max, pardon my fingers, I know you have issues. We're not trying to make it a 40 pound chicken pizza. We want some pieces in every bite, but we don't need too much. Max is eyeing the extra chicken that I prepped, knowing he'll be eating this on the way home. Two more things. Two is our fatty bacon. Try and get this in the holes where the chicken is not. Oh God, is this gonna be fantastic. I'm in love. What's that song? I'm in love with the stripper. Great, great, great. One last thing. A little thinly sliced red onion. Just somehow makes this so special. All right, this is done. Done and done. When it's there and hot, uh, we go in. And the little bowl bearings help us get the pizza right off the peel. Now we gotta keep our eyes on it. It's gonna cook very fast. We'll, and of course it's gonna be hotter at the back. So we're gonna wanna put our pizza peel in, pull it out, give it a little turn after about 20, 30 seconds or so. You can see in there, you see it sizzling? Like watch. Look at that, look at that. How long's that been? Not very long, maybe 30 seconds. Let's watch it sizzle. That's what I love. Look at that. Mamma mia, we making a pizza today. Time again. 
Just a little dark on that one side, but that's okay. snap a -rooney. Beautiful crust underneath. Tiny bit more and we're out, guys. And now. Look at that. Let's go. And we're there. Hey, sexy. Get off of that. Look at you. The only thing I'm going to give it, because you know I have to, is just a tiny little bit of cilantro. That's it. Listen. So let's just cut it, shall we? With the new knife that's gonna be out this fall. Oh gosh. Just trying to be so like even. Lost sight of where I was going. Look at that. That's pretty. And one little piece. Oh, this chicken. Oh god, that little piece. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm holding on for a bite, but I really think that the spice is gonna have been dialed way down now. Let's find out. spicy but wow it's 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 nowhere near what it was do you see the grease on my glasses i'm a mess i have to go but not before i do this and the bacon in here holy s mm, mm -hmm, mm. yeah it works really well it's an amazing combination don't dial down the spice leave it where it is because what's in my mouth right now is fantastic that's what she said i'm waiting for that and if you're seeing us for the first time why are you seeing us for the first time? But if you are, you could hit the subscribe button. The little notification bell lets you know when we have new episodes up. You don't have to look for us. We come looking for you. Give us a like. Make this. See you.